Hey everybody, it is Daniel here for Mobile Syrup, and uh, today I have the HTC Wildfire S, which is launching soon on Bell, and this is an entry-level device coming in at around $249.95 um, off contract, so it'll be close to free on contract, and this is meant to compete with the LG Optimus One and uh, the other entry-level Samsung Android devices. And um, you can see here the specs don't quite reach the heights of, say, a Desire HD or Inc Incredible S, but uh, it certainly does the job. We've got a 600 megahertz processor, 512 megs of RAM and ROM. It's a 3.2 inch, um, 480 by 360, I believe, um, touchscreen. You have um, Bell's uh, 3G or 4G network capable. You have Bluetooth 3.0, Wi-Fi. You have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is more than you can say for the uh, HP Veer, which is around the same size. You have um, a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and space for a micro SD card. So you're getting basically a very small smartphone. Now, in comp like, you, this may not look very small, but when you put this next to, say, the LG um, G2X, you can see just how much smaller this device really is. It's a good uh, two, or th two inches at least, or an inch and a half. So turning it on, you see that this is the sense that you all uh, know, and this is running gingerbread. And you can see that there are four capacitive touch buttons here on the bottom. Um, so you see here um, we have the uh, search screen and this will, so let's look up wild now this keyboard is a little bit smaller and therefore a little bit more difficult to um, use just to kind of peck at than uh, the usual HTC keyboards but everything else really does run pretty nicely there are a few times I've noticed where it does slow down but you can see you have the full internet experience here on this 3.2 inch display and as I said this is running Sense 2.1 with uh, gingerbread and you have all the um, Sense 2.1 updates which include the drop down notification bar Oh, so here's the full screen web browser so this takes away the notification bar and you can see everything runs pretty smoothly pinch to zoom works really well uh, let me get back out of here so I can show you here are your recently used apps and the quick settings you can quickly toggle Wi-Fi or Bluetooth um, so that's that and let me just show you the menu here So here we have as you can see Android 2.3.3 with Sense 2.1 and all this other stuff here baseband kernel uh so yeah this runs pretty well um I can show you a couple benchmarks so first I'm going to show you the uh, multi-touch sensor, so you got one, two, three, and four. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, we have four capable. I'm putting a fifth down, but nothing's happening. So, there you go. We have um, four touch sensors on there. And here's Linpack. So this just shows you, like, the sheer uh, processing power of the device. And you can see it's a very low 6.666. Ooh, that's evil. Uh, so yeah, not a not a power device here. And um, I also ran the Quadrant benchmark, and I got about um, 600 of that. So really not. Um, let me just focus there. So yeah, not a power device at all, but certainly one that is capable of uh, being used as a phone and 
and as a surfing um, apparatus you can you have access to the uh, Android market here and um, everything seems to run pretty well on that so look forward to my full review on this device so far so good uh, let's just go and look around the hardware a little bit so you see the four capacitive touch buttons on the bottom uh, there's a microphone on the bottom there as well left hand side you have the volume rocker and you can see this little nice uh, lip here it actually makes it a lot easier to talk into the phone and it's nice and attractive you have the micro USB charging port there you have your easy to press power button and your 3.5 millimeter jack on the right side you don't have anything and on the back you have the 5 megapixel camera which protrudes just a little bit and the uh, LED flash and the speaker and this is pried off like so I don't want to break anything there you go so nice uh, hard plastic see the battery basically takes up the entire back of the device you have your nice big speaker grill here uh, when you take out the battery you can see that it is it is 1200 sorry 1230 milliamp hours so this is the same battery that's used in the Desire HD on a much smaller device and you can see the um, cage for the SIM card and the micro SD slot is just on the uh, right hand side or left hand side depending on when you're, where you're looking at it so that is just a quick overview of the uh, Bell Wildfire S coming soon for 249